How's it going everybody? This is Ruby and this is episode 41 of my Feed the Beast Machine tutorial series. Today we're going to be taking a look at the isolator from Extra Bees. Now what the isolator does for you is that now this is a bee related machine so you really can't use it for much else. Uh, well you really don't have a choice to use it for much else. But what this does is that you can put in some bees over here or just kind of get them pumped into it. It will then move the bee over here into its current processing slot I guess you could say. And then this is its progress bar and it's all DNA colored and stuff. So then it'll start processing, it'll come over here. Now this one right here, this is where you're gonna put your serum vials. Now what the isolator does is that it randomly picks a trait from the bee that you're processing and then gets the serum into a vial. And then the vials will come over here and stay into this inventory. So if we go ahead and take a look at the recipe, the recipe is three diamonds across the top, four blaze rods on each side, an advanced genetic machine in the middle, and then a piece of redstone at the bottom. And that's for the isolator. The serum recipe is six glass panes, two gold, and then a royal jelly. And that makes two serum vials per recipe. Powering the isolator is quite simple. It just takes MJ power. So, and just in this example, I have a redstone energy cell with some redstone energy conduits coming over here. And this is your bar down here for the power. We can see that this one is 100% charged with 60,000 MJs built up. And you can see its max usage is 50 MJ per tick. Now, the isolator will run off at just one MJ per tick. However, it's going to do it very, 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 very slowly. <laughs> so you want to throw this, you want to throw as much MJs at this as possible. You can also see that the max input is a thousand MJ. Automating the isolator is not very easy. Um, for example, you can just go ahead and pump bees into there. So if we go ahead and give us a bunch of bees. Now what you'll want to remember is that the isolator has a 30% chance of destroying the bee. Um, now granted that's a pretty good chance, so I wouldn't recommend putting your queens or your really, really badass bees in here because there's a chance that they might get destroyed. So you're best off doing this with your extra drones that you have laying around. So if we go ahead and throw these bees in here and let's go ahead and get it hooked up with an engine. So like so. And we need a wrench. There we go. So now it's going to start pumping over, as we can see there. And it's going to end up over here in its inv internal inv in its internal inventory. And then in, if you have it hooked up to export, it's going to automatically suck the bee out of here. It does the same with the serums. Now it will grab these. However, you can't reliably grab just the extra serums out of here. If you export it, it exports every single inventory slot. So this is what I was talking about when the automation wasn't easy. I played around with this in every which way you can think of trying to figure out what is the correct side to do things from and it turns out this machine just cannot be automated. Now you can always automate putting bees into it and that works just fine. And you could use like an Arctic gate here to make sure that it's got inventory room before you pump it in there because it only does, it only has seven slots if you include the one it's currently processing. So exporting the bees and the serums and the and then putting the empty serum vials in there, you can't do. If you try to put serum vials into it, it'll go up to one and then that's it. It'll kick out the rest of, out of the machine. And of course, if you export it like we're doing here, as soon as you throw anything into any of the inventory slots within the isolator, it doesn't work. Um, unfortunately, this really, really, really sucks for people like me who like to automate everything. And you can see there, it just pumps it out immediately out of any of the export slots. See? It's not even getting a chance to get processed. So automation for this machine is busted. That's going to conclude today's tutorial. If you have any questions, please feel free to post it in the comments below or send me a private message on YouTube. I read all my comments and all my messages so I will get to your question. If this video helped you out or if you enjoyed it, a rating would be much appreciated. And subscribe as I always have new Feed the Beast videos coming out almost every other day, if not every day. Thank you.